What is up, car addicts? We're going to be customizing the final vehicle that came with the Diamond Resort and Casino DLC. This one is the last one that came upon release of a DLC. Obviously, we're getting a bunch of drip feed vehicles like a Demon um, Classic Challenger. I mean, just an insane amount of drip feed vehicles, including the McLaren from the trailer. Uh, we already customized the ones that came upon release of the DLC itself. That was these four right here and the Raptor we did in the last video, the regular car car, and now we're doing the Winnie AC Sport. This one is just a shy under $900,000. That's a ridiculous amount of money for a Mini Cooper, but that's the premium you gotta pay for new stuff in DLCs. It's ridiculous, but if you really, really want it, I'd highly recommend waiting for a discount on this car because either way, it's really unfortunate. Rockstar put this in the sports cars category Instead of putting it in the compacts category, would it would have had a fighting chance against the Briozo, which is the king of that class. Unfortunately, it's in the sports car category, which is probably why they called it Winnie Issy Sport. But I mean, Rockstar does some weird things sometimes. Anyways, I already bought it. Here it is. I mean, it's a decent. I mean, it's not the exact uh, Issy model. It's a little different, and it's not like the Issy Classic either. So we, we have a bunch of different SC variations in the game. It's crazy. And this is another one added to that set. But this is the first uh, modern um, SC coupe, I guess you can say. Because the regular SC is convertible only. Then the SC classic is coupe, but it's, it's the old one. So this is really the first modern coupe Mini Cooper. So that's awesome. So what is this primary based off? I did some research to see what it was based off of in real life. I went through pages and pages of stuff. I really couldn't find anything. But then I came across this and I was looking at the front bumper and the grill and I'm like, this is really similar. So I guess, and even the side skirt as well, the little vent there. So I guess that's what it's based off of. It's based off a kit that Liberty Walk offers for the Mini Cooper. Very simple. I mean, I, I don't know why Rockstar added this or spent time on this. I don't think anybody really wanted this, but <laughs> I guess for somebody that wanted a wide body Mini Cooper for some reason, we got one, I guess. Um, definitely different, that's for sure. I would have never guessed they would add another Mini Cooper. Nevertheless, a wide body one. I don't understand that, but it is what it is. Let's... Uh... Let's go ahead and see what kind of customization it offers. I really hope there's a lot, because for $900,000, there's got to be some reason to buy this thing, right? What were you looking for? Let's see what we got here. Anything we got typical do? armor, brakes, bumpers. Okay, front bumper. So you have a carbon extension to the front splitter that's already there, kind of. Primary colored. This one the same? Oh, this one's a little different. Okay. Okay. How many cars you got in this garage again? I think I'll do this carbon one. I normally don't like the struts on this, but I mean, you already have a wide body kit with rivets all over it. You might as well make it, you know, kind of crazy. Let's do that. Rear bumpers, diffuser, definitely. Primary tipped or secondary, we'll just do normal carbon. Engine, definitely. Big bore exhaust. So this is stock, and then this is the custom one. Titanium. Side mounted, okay, right behind the front tires there. Interesting. Next one we got, what the heck is this? That's awful. <laughs> okay, and that's even worse, titanium version of that. And I didn't think it can get any worse, but this is, this is definitely worse. Why? <laughs> why would you why would you put this on your car? <laughs> oh my gosh. Whatever. The things Rockstar comes up with, I don't know how Technology they do it. Oh man, it's hilarious. I'm gonna do the big bore exhaust. If I hear you, I'll wait. Fenders. So you can make the body kit carbon. I guess if you wanna have a contrast or a secondary. Um until we make some decisions with the colors, I think I'm gonna leave it stock for now. Grill, intercooler, it makes a little, ref uh, I guess the fog lights, it turns them into red lights for some reason. We got a little red tow hook, and it removes the tow hook down. 
We got the exposed intercooler with the Winnie logo. Uh, carbon vents, okay. And then primary colored vents. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll just throw this one on there, why not? Hood, carbon stock version. What is this? Just hood pins? Okay. Carbon. Oh, look at that. I love the vented one. Carbon version of that. Hood with extra vents. Carbon hood with extra vents. And then here you get the um, the scoop with the vents. Nice. Making decisions That's it. Okay, I'm going to do this one. There it is. Lights. We have already pretty much LEDs already, so we'll just throw xenons on there. Why not? Livery. Okay, there's liveries for this. Nice. White stripes. I like that. We kind of already have an idea how I'm going to customize this. Well, as far as the paint. Black stripes. Power metal livery. Republican Space Rangers. Oh my gosh. Strawberry. Do you need a drink? Bubbles? Lime. Oh my gosh. Got the Sprunk. Sprunk Extreme. The Sprunk's probably the most popular livery for any anything in GTA Online. Lager beer. Okay. Lager beer alternate. Wow. They really put a lot of thought into all these liveries. I think I'm going to go with the white stripes, but again, before I do any type of contrast with paint, I'm going to first paint it. Uh, I don't really have any... Oh, I do have a, I do have a funny custom plate for this. Portable. There it is. <laughs> I put this on all of, like the little compact cars, even though Rockstar made it a sports car. Thank you, Rockstar. Now we can't use it in compact races. Anyways... Oh, there's a trim color. What's that? Okay, the interior. And the padding. Okay. Uh, let's go back to primary. So I kind of want to do is kind of like the John Cooper Works Mini kind of style. So I'm going to go with like a, a, um, like a green, a dark green. And then give it a contrast with some blue. So I think we'll do a no racing green. And tone down the pearlescent a bit. Olive green pearlescent. Secondary is the secondary parts and the roll cage. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. So, the roll actual roll cage itself is a secondary color, but the padding on the roll cage and the seats <laughs> is your trim color. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, and the mirrors too. Look at that. I didn't even see that. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna leave it white, and you already know why. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me. I'm gonna leave this black, unless we want to do green. But no, green interior just looks awful. Yeah, definitely not. We'll leave. We'll leave that black. Your crevice will go right there on the side of the door. Let's go back to the livery. Let's see how it looks with those white stripes. Oh yes. If you can think it, oh I yes, I like this a lot. But the black stripes, not as nice. The white brings out, that, that looks amazing against the green. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And let's see how those fenders look in carbon. Definitely too much of a contrast there, at least in my opinion. And secondary white, definitely too much Whatever white. We'll leave that green. Uh, where were we? We, we, we just painted it, now we're going to check the roof. So you have a carbon roof scoop, okay. Primary roof scoop, not bad. Secondary race roof scoop. The race one is like a little smaller. I guess like a little less noticeable than the normal one. That's a little bigger. Okay, and then a full carbon roof. I'm not sure why you do a full carbon roof because you kind of lose this, <laughs> the whole thing with the stripes. Kind of lose the symmetry there. But um, I'm gonna do the. the the more uh, hidden roof scoop. I think it's nice. It's a nice subtle touch and it's not anything too Don't ridiculous too big. Pretty. Side skirts, definitely. So, carbon street skirt. Primary street. This is race. <laughs> okay, Rockstar. How is how is the race one? 
less aggressive than the street one. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there's a carbon one, primary, and then secondary. So I'm going to do the carbon there to match our front splitter that we put before. Spoiler. Okay. A very, a very simple carbon lip spoiler. I like that. Street spoiler. Race spoiler. Well, look, and all of them transfer the liveries over, so that's nice. And then a secondary. I'm gonna do the the carbon lip wing. I feel like this is kind of like all these spoilers are like in your face. I don't know when you're driving it; it's just too too big. I like the simple spoiler. So lip spoiler is nice. Sun strips, globe oil, large stand, primary. That that looks awful. <laughs> Secondary, okay. Suspension. Oh, we can slam this. Wow, slam yeah, it even more. Transmission, turbo, wheels. This is a difficult one. I think let's go to the sports category. Maybe these in black. Hmm. Life is hard when you can have anything. These are pretty similar to the stock ones. We got that nice deep dish as well. Yeah, they're very similar. These are a little larger though, I believe. So let's do these in black. That looks really good. Yes. Very nice. Okay, windows. Should we do light smoke? It's like technically a race car kind of race car slash white body kit car. I'll leave it without the window tints. Okay, that's pretty much it. All right, let's see how it drives. I'm actually curious to see how it drives because I have no idea what they're, they're gonna do with this. They put it as a sports car, so that means it has to be a lot faster than the compact cars. Okay. It feels kind of slow. <laughs> I mean, it's going. Okay, now it's going a little faster. Wow. Okay, it handles very well. Very responsive steering. Okay, this is okay. The handling is the strong suit of this car. I can already tell. I did not expect it to handle this well and to push a car like this that fast into corners. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm very impressed. Okay, now now I understand why they put it in the sports class because of how well it handles. That makes a lot more sense now. But still, I would still categorize this as a compact car, not a sports car. I mean, that's just my opinion. Or it could be both. That's why Rockstar needs kind of like subclasses within their classes. All right, let's open and see if all the doors open. Doors. All. Oh, let's see. Yes, they do. Nice. Okay. And your carbon engine cover there. Nice. Look at how low it is. I love it. We got the white cage there. I like that. Do we have any stock racing seats? Comes with carbon door panels already. So it pretty much comes with like a stripped uh, race interior, like one of the ones you would choose in Benny's, for example. And a fire extinguisher there in the center. Not bad. I mean, pretty cool. I mean, I guess for anybody that really wanted a a normal Mini Cooper that wasn't a convertible or a classic. I guess this is a a nice one. But if they don't want a wide body either, I guess you're kind of SOL because <laughs> this, this is all you got. I think it's pretty cool, kind of respectable. Would I recommend spending almost $900,000 on this? Definitely not. No, do not spend that much money on this. Let me, let me share it again. Just to, I still can't fathom it in my mind that it was that much money. Yeah. 
Almost 900. I still can't believe it. Every time I look at it, I just, I just, I just can't believe it. That's a ridiculous price for this car, dude. I do not recommend buying this at all. If you really want it, wait for it to go on sale, and it will go on sale. Just give it a couple of weeks or a month or so. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.